have it. Brought to you by the fine, fine folks at LearningCamtasia.com. This message is approved for all audiences. Does anybody want to see something cool that I'm working on? Sure. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yay. Uh, I'll ask a question. How many of you, if any, are here as a result of the PowerPoint for Camtasia course? That was the original one that I took, which okay. was wonderful. Yeah, it's good And that stuff. was originally how I discovered your question and answer. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, if you've uh, been through the course, then you know that there's a certain procedure that we use to take our PowerPoint slides and crank them out as videos. And it basically, there's a few techniques to it that can be used when it comes to narration. Well, what I always kind of wanted to do was to write my script, record my audio first, which I'm a huge fan of, and I'll talk a little bit about in just a second, but then be able to use that clean audio track and match it to my slide content. Well, I found a better way. And this is pretty cool. So here is a new process that I have for creating awesome video slide content. I always start with a script. And I start with a script because uh, I may not read it verbatim, but I think of it as making sure that I have everything I want to say down and I'm not going to forget things. Okay, that's one thing. And I can edit it. So I can make sure that what I want to say is in there. I can move things around and it becomes almost a planning document, if you will. Because a video is all about the message. It's a very big mistake to start making a video by trying to decide what your visuals should look like. All of that should be ideally generated by what the message is. So having a script lets me look at my message. Okay? And what you'll find is that also as I go through here, this text helps me decide what the appropriate visuals might be. So here, you know, I here's the word creativity. Well, I know then what I might want to show is some kind of image that might dictate or represent creativity. So if we go to my slide deck here, we'll just kind of see what that is. And it looks like this. So I decided that that looks like a creative kind of thing. So that's the other reason for the script. So anyway, now the point becomes, this is my narration. And the way that I go about this then is I fire up Audacity, which is a free audio recording program, very easy to use. I hit the record button and I read my script. And one of the reasons I love doing my audio first is that, have you ever read a script and made a mistake? Anybody? Of course, everybody. Well, if I was just clicking through my slides and recording as I do it on the fly, all those mistakes are going to be in there, and I have to deal with them, you know, some way. But now they're married to my video. If I can just focus on one thing, and that is speaking, and then going in and fixing and trimming out any mistakes, it's a very easy program to use. You highlight what your little mistake is, hit the delete key. Okay, and then the other trick that I use is I will, if I mess up a line, I just pause for a second and keep recording. And I say it again. And I do those right in a row. So it might go something like this. Awesome video tools for, awesome video tools for killer screencasts. Sometimes when I'm reading a script, I'll even say a phrase or a sentence twice just because, wait for it, the second time I read something and speak it out loud always sounds more natural than the first. So now in Audacity, let's say this is the first time I said it, this is the second time I said it. The key is that they're right next to each other. I can listen to them and pick the best one, delete the other one. Boom, gone. Once I've done all my editing in Audacity, I save it, 
as an MP3 file or a WAV file, either one. I'd probably do it as a WAV file just because it's higher quality. So that means I'm going to end up with my nice audio track. So I do my, my script, which lets me design my slides, right? So I build my slides and everything like that according to the flow, and uh, I have an audio track. Here's the cool part. What I found out you can do is you go to the first slide of your slide deck. You go to Insert. You go to Audio. And you find your audio file, and you insert it into the first slide. Now, one thing that I'll do is I like to move this off the slide, because otherwise it's going to show up when I record. All right. There's one other thing you need to do first. Find out how many slides you have. I have 38 slides. Then what you do is you go to Animations, open up your animation pane, and you'll notice here is the audio file that I just put in. I'm going to move this to the top, just in case you have any builds, which I do on my first slide. And I want this to start with Previous. What that means is that as soon as I fire up this in slideshow mode, the audio is going to start to play. Well, what I want is it to play through the entire deck of slides, and here's the trick. You go to the Effect Options, so I go here, Effect Options, and you see right here, Stop Playing After 38 Slides. What that just did is it told PowerPoint, when this guy goes into slideshow mode, start playing the audio clip that's here. Okay, that's what the start with previous means. Then continue playing it and just keep playing that audio file until he gets to slide 38. So here's what happens. You go to slideshow, go to record slideshow, uncheck narrations and laser pointer, and just start recording. Here's what's going to happen. It's going to go into Welcome slideshow to mode. Screencast Studio. My audio file is now playing. Awesome video tools for killer screencasts. And I'm just clicking. Hey, how you doing? My name is Lon Miller. I'm a screencast voice. video producer, trainer, coach, speaker. I've been creating video presentations for about 17 years now. Wow. So I'm just listening single piece of software to the like audio for example, and clicking certainly that's important when it's appropriate. Once you can get and I'm going to cut it short there. Uh, but you just go through the entire slide deck and follow the audio as you go. Then you just do the normal file, save and send, create a video, create video, and it's all going to be all together in all its yummy goodness. What do you think? I think that's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I wish I was just doing slides. It would be a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, the only thing is you have to obviously rehearse it a few times so that you know when to click to follow the voice. But uh, it's, oh, this is so clean, so sweet, and, and it's just right there all together without even really thinking about it.